What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the boxing clinic. One time for the one time. Looks like uh, Danny Garcia has elected to face Luis Colazo next. Um, it's a rumor going around, but I can believe it. I remember about a month ago I told you guys that Danny Garcia was targeting Luis Colazo or Jesse Vargas um, because he feels that he's going to get the Keith Thurman rematch regardless if he had to fight Sean Porter or in an interim belt match. You know, so he don't feel the need to fight uh, Sean Porter right now, you know, because he feels like he got the inside track to fighting Keith Thurman when he comes back. Um, you know, that'll kind of be Keith Thurman warm up, I, I would guess. So um, stay busy with a Puerto, all out Puerto Rican matchup with Luis Colazzo. Um, Sean, Sean Porter, like I told you guys, is going to fight. Um, it was a rumor now. Sounds like it might be true. He's going to fight Thomas Delorme uh, August 26th uh, on a Fox uh Sports one or a Fox prelim card to Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. So he's gonna be on a separate card on free TV or cable, basic cable TV versus Thomas Delorme. And uh, Danny Garcia is going to, he don't give a fuck what, what people think. You know, Danny Garcia is gonna follow the business model. He's not gonna be like Adrian Broner and, and venture off and, and let his mouth write a uh, check his ass can cash with the Madonna fight. Um, so Danny Garcia is gonna fight, you know, Luis Colazo probably somewhere on the East Coast. Um, sometime this fall, it might be on that October 14th card. I told you that Danny, Danny Jacobs is supposed to be on. So that might be the main event. Um, with, if he's on that same card with Danny Jacobs and Brooklyn Barclay, uh, that, that card going to be sorry as shit because, um, I don't know who Danny Garcia, I mean, Danny Jacobs can fight. Uh, if, if, if that's the card it's going to fall on because it's not going, who gives a shit. And Thomas Delorme versus Sean Porter, um, you know, it'll be competitive, but, um, Sean Porter should be able to knock out glass jaw. Thomas Delorme, Uber driving ass. Um, but Delorme does have some skills. But, you know, anybody that know how to cut the ring off of him that can take that, check that chin with some power. I believe Sean has enough power to um, to check that chin. But Danny Garcia and Luis Colazzo, you know, should be a solid matchup. Um, you know, Colazzo, you know, has upset, upset the apple cart before. Um, but probably not two times in a row. Danny Garcia should... Uh, get a tough unanimous decision versus him. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be more impressive than Amir Khan's unanimous decision over Luis Colazzo, but um, it's the business model now. You know, it's about business now. It's not about giving the fans what they want. Danny Garcia gave y'all, you know, Lucas Matisse, he feel like that's enough um, for y'all to be satisfied with right now. Um, since then, he be giving y'all some shit fights, you know, other than the Keith Thurman fight, and that's what he cares, you know. It's the same guy who fought Rod Stock and didn't bat an eye. Same guy that held a bag of cherry with his dad. So uh, he ducks uh, Earl Spence. He ducks uh, Sean Porter. I know Sean Porter is upset. He was mum moaning the whole weekend, but he must have already knew Danny Garcia was going another direction. Um, even the Jesse Vargas fight would have been better than this, but uh, for Danny, um, he don't care. You know, he didn't care about the intern belt. He got the fast track to Keith Thurman. He going to fight Keith Thurman when he comes back in January or some beginning of 2018. We gone.